Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to discuss 17th question that came as four marker for grades five and six. And it's a very interesting and easy question. Let's see how we can do this. Yeah. So the question is, the figure below shows a behave with 16 cells. Some of the cells contains honey. The number in each cell indicates how many of the neighboring cell contains honey. This is the important line. Two cells are neighbors if they share a common edge. How many cells in the behave contain honey? So let's see how we can do this question. Okay, let's start from number zero. Let's assume that number zero is uh, having honey. Okay, it contains honey. So what will happen now if number zero is having honey? That means Zero contains, zero means that no neighbor will have honey, right? That means number two and number three, they will not have honey, okay? Now, let's say we can see number four over here, right? And it is surrounded by one, two, three, four, four cells, right? So, let's assume that number four is also having honey. Right. Now, this tells us that 2, 3, this 4 and 1. All 4 neighboring cells will have honey. Right. Because number 4 tells us uh, the 4 cells surrounding it will have honey. Right. Now, what we can see. This number 1 tells us that only one of its neighboring cell will contain honey, right? But here what is happening, two of the neighboring cells contains honey, right? So that means we did something wrong. Now what wrong thing we did over here? Number four will not contain honey, okay? Here number four is not going to contain honey. Okay, let's assume 1, 4, 3 and 2, they contain honey. So 1 is sorted, 1 is having honey and along with that, one of its edge, that is this number 4, this also has honey. Okay, now if we focus on number 4, it tells us that 4 of its neighboring cells will contain honey. So we can have 3, we can have this 4, we can have this 3, okay, and uh, one of the neighboring cells is this number one. So four of its neighboring scent contains honey, right? So we are sorted with one as well as four. Now, if we focus on this three, let me change the color. Okay. If we focus on number three, so this means three of its neighboring cells will contain honey. One can be this four only because they are sharing a common edge. Another one can be this cell and another one can be this cell because they will have a common edge, right? That means number three is also sorted. If we check number two, so number two is also sorted because two of its neighboring cell will be this four and number three, right? So that means so far we have fixed lo the locations of this, this and these, right? That these will contain, right? Now, if we check this number four, so number four is surrounded by one, two, three, and this fourth one, right? So four of its neighboring cell contains honey. That means this is also sorted. Number four is also done. And if we see number three, so number three is also surrounded by three of the cells, right? One is over here, this one because it is having a common edge, then this one, and then this one, right? So, so far all numbers are cleared, but this number two, if we focus on this number two, so this number two is having only one neighbor, which is having honey, right? We need one more neighbor, because two tells us two of its neighboring cells will contain honey. So that means we can have this one, right? We can have this one, because it is also sharing a common edge, okay? Now, if we see, so what all uh, cells we have? 
which contains honey? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we got our answer that is nine. Option C. That means nine cells will contain honey. Rest will be empty. Okay? Because we cannot have honey in any of the other cells. We started with zero so that our question becomes easier, right? And then we went to four because four surrounded uh, was surrounded with four of the cells, right? But we saw that four cannot contain honey because we won't be able to proceed ahead, right? And that is how we got our answer. That is number nine. Okay. I hope you like this video. If yes, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you have any queries, you can put down uh, your questions in the comment box below. We can make more tutorials, more solution videos for you. And yes, if you haven't joined our WhatsApp community, the link is in the description box below and the QR code will reflect on the screen. So you can join our community for daily exam updates and valuable resources. I will see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.